What's up, my favorite people? My shining stars. Hope you shine right, not letting anybody dim that light. My name is Trinity, and welcome to my channel, all about the healing. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my ride and dice. You know what? That's been rocking with me from the beginning of my time. Thank you, guys. I love you, love you, love you from the bottom of my heart. You know, thank you, guys, really, really, for all your love, your support, all your positive energy that comes my way. I just thank you, thank you, thank you. Right now, by the time you're I actually um, looking at this video, I will probably be in surgery or recovering from surgery. But I thank you, thank you, thank you for clicking this video and support me all right so thank you um to my new subscribers i'm honored and welcome to the family hit that bell if you have not hit that bell so you can always know what's going on um or what's up with the channel this donations thank you for those that's been donating i've been buying all these decks and trying to get familiar with all of these decks guys i have purchased a lot of decks you will be seeing them and these reads so thank you uh, for those that wants to donate and is thinking about donating um go to the description box all the information is there just know that if you donate anything you donate you pour any support into this channel you shall reap what you sow and i'm telling you this is good ground so it is so so be it a shay all right so with that being said we're going to move on but i just want to say if you're vibing, if you're feeling my energy and you're vibing with my energy, go ahead on and click the subscribe button. You ain't even got to go through all the channels. Hit the subscribe button because you're meant to be here and we're getting ready to rock it. We're ready to move forward. Let's do it. All right, so I'm not going to go through my normal spiel because I got to get these readings done. All right, but we're going to move on. We're going to get the roll on, though. We are under the sign of water. Bam! And this water is Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, okay? This is water, all right? So, bam! Like I said, I'm not going to go through my spiel. I'm not even going to do that. We're going to go ahead and move on. But what we're doing today is, oh, first, whomever you want to know, Place it on your mind, your person that you want to know without a shadow of a doubt. If this person have moved on, if they've moved on in another relationship, has they moved on just because they don't want to be with you? Have they moved on? This person has moved on. We're going to dig into that. If not, or if they did, why? Channeling what? what they want to say all right we're gonna we're gonna channel what they want to say all right so here we go have this person moved on in the near future so what i get from this is that no they have not moved on this person is still trying to find a way back into your life this person is in the near future. This person is going to contact you. They're going to call you. They're going to text you. Some type of communication. They're, or if it's not communication, they're trying to come up with a plan or strategy to meet up with you, bump into you, um, go up to your job, uh, you know, drive by your house, or try to come some type of con with a, some kind of situation where they can see you and talk to you or um if they're not in your area they want to call you text you some kind of message because when i clarify this and it's going to be in the near future okay so when i clarified it matter of fact let's look at this card a little bit before i go into that see how this is See how this got two people in it? So what I'm getting from that is that this person may use another person to try to get contact with you. May use a, another um, 
person to come in and try to help them with, I don't mean to do that. Help them, yeah. Help them with this information. Try to, I mean, may use another person to contact you. Or because some of you may have blocked this person. Some some of you may have is not speaking to this person. Maybe things, you know, got out of control or something like that. And so they're going to use another individual to try to contact you, to try to get to, to relay this message to you because you are not speaking to them. You're not talking to them. See how it's two people in that card? And they're holding up some kind of device here, some kind of device there. Yeah, these two people are working together to to strategize to get a message to you or relay a message to you or try to um, come back into your life. Okay, whoever you're thinking about, okay? Because we're talking about this particular person, but this particular person you might not be talking to right now. So this person is trying to find a way by any means necessary to come back into your life. And if that means that they need to get somebody else to help them, that's what they're going to do. Okay. And the reason why this person is have not moved on is because they're in a, they, they lacking, they, they, uh, uh so some type of way that money is funny. Um, they need help. Uh, they have a lot elect my uh, mindset um you might have whoever you is okay think you where it go this person has a lack my ment a mentality or this person this particular person is going through a financial struggle and they need help need help okay is why this person has not moved on because they need something from you they want something from you. They're lacking something that you have. Okay. This person is numbing their pain, um, intoxication. They're drinking, smoking, um, doing something um, that's, in, that's intoxicating. Or this person has not moved on because they... Um, is uh, they are intoxic you you feel intoxicated they're drawn to you in some type of way that makes them feel intox that makes them feel um like they you know you're intoxicating you, you you are um whoever you are they can't they this person can't move on because they are drawn to you in such a way that it's, it, it feels it's, it, it feels like um, they're, they're so drawn to you that they can't let go, right? And this person is not going to, this person is not going to come in giving you the truth. That dishonesty came out because this person is not able to confront the truth, the truth of the matter. It's some type of truth that this person does not want to face about themselves, about the relationship, about the whole dynamic. It's some type of truth that they don't want to face. And that's why they can't let you go. Because they, they have to face the truth about them, about themselves. And they have to face the truth about the whole dynamic of the relationship and they don't want to face it because of how they feel. They feel drawn. They feel intoxicated. They feel like um, something they've never felt before. Okay? And they're lacking something. They, they, they are really lacking something. So what they they feel lack when they're not with this they're not with you whoever you is they feel lacking they feel like they they have lost something something is missing in their life okay so okay spirit oh lord okay so 
if this is you and you are in a situation where you feel like you are law you're lacking because another individual is not in your life and you feel drawn and intoxicated and obsessed with someone else um and you feel like you can't be honest with yourself about and be honest with that person and open up and tell that person how you feel, then you might as well, I mean, what what's the significance of all this? You know, what what is the significance of holding on, wishing, hoping, and praying, getting other people to get involved to tell somebody how you really feel? What is the significance of this if you're not going to be honest with yourself? You're not going to be honest with yourself about who you are, what you have done. You're not going to be honest. So what is the significance of doing all of this to, and confronting this person or talking to this person? Or to me, in this picture, you're trying to get somebody else to do the work. You're trying to get some, you're trying to, Get somebody else involved. You're trying to ha have somebody else go to this person. To me, this is what I'm saying. Instead of you, because you don't want to face this person. You don't want to tell this person how you feel. You don't want to tell this person the truth. So based off of that, you don't want to tell the person the truth yourself. You're trying to get somebody else to tell the truth. Or you're trying to to try to come up with a strategy. How do you think that this is going to work? If the person have left you and that, and you're not, and they are not in your life, it's a reason. And if it's a reason that they're not in your life, this is where it will start. It will start with you. First of all, you need to be honest with yourself. What do you want? Why did this relationship end? Why, I'm, why am I in this, in this situation in the first place? And please, 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 if you are in this situation, don't play the blame game. Don't play the victim because you're not the victim. The victim mentality gets you nowhere. You have to always open up your mind to see the part. It's always two sides to the story. But you keep looking at your side, looking at their side instead of looking at your side. You, In order to get out of this situation that you in, I'm trying to help you. In order, you, in order for you to get out of this situation of intoxication and lack, you're going to have to be truthful and honest with yourself. You're going to have to man up woman up and wherever you insecure or wherever it is that you don't want to face the funk and face the truth and be honest with yourself you're going to have to face it then and only then will this work because whoever this person is whoever this is they left you for a reason it's a reason. They didn't leave you just to up and leave you. It was a reason. A reason that you never confronted and you never told yourself. And you never was honest with yourself. But the other person already know the truth. This is, a not, this is not about them. This is about you telling the truth to yourself and being honest with yourself. And when you can be honest with yourself, then and only then can you confront this person. Because you confront this person with this, you're going to you're gonna be blocked. They're not going to answer. They're not gonna, you're not going to get what you want. Because this situation is not about the other person. It's all about you. Okay? If you find yourself in that situation, in this situation right here, You got work to do. 
Because whoever this person is, it's not gonna, it's not gonna accept you in. It's not gonna, this is not gonna work. Spirit not gonna allow it, and this person is not gonna allow it. If you send an email, it's not gonna, it's not gonna get to that person. If you try to call them, you're not gonna get through. That's this is the type of energy that you you're not gonna get through. If you try to text them, you look look at their social media, try to do it, it's not gonna work, it's not gonna go through. Because you have to be honest and truthful with yourself first before you can get to this person. That's the bottom line, whoever this is. Now, if you're the person on the receiving end, that's why this person is not coming in. This is why they have not moved on. And this is why it's, just, it's just all this, this, this stuff going on. It's because this person is in turmoil. They're trying to find ways and try to flip and dip and trying to get in your get in your energy field or trying to get you on the phone or try to get you. But it's nothing is going to work until this person sit down and face themselves. Because the truth lies with them. All right, so channeling, channeling what they want to say. Okay. Okay. I will wait for a sign for you. Okay, so here we go again. Okay. Um, I feel you leaving me behind. Okay. So um, this person is trying to try their best to devise a plan. They feel, um, like I said, what they want to say to you is that they want you to wait. They want you to contact them. They want you to, you know, to get over um, this situation. Um, they want you to um give them that attention that give them that um they they just want you for want you for themselves they want to possess you they want um they want you back in their life um they feel like i said lack this feeling of uh leaving me behind they feel like that when you when you left them that you 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 when you walked away you it, you you left them. They feel like you left them. And when you left them, it's like, you know, it wasn't like anybody else leaving them because you are significant. You are very, very significant. You're very powerful. You have, it's like you have everything. You have um, power. You have um wisdom you have love you have people who love you you have people that will commit to you you have everything and i had just you i had nothing else but just you and i feel like when you walked away from me you walked away you just walked away as if i was nothing to you um you know, you could just walk away. And when you walked away, it's like the way you did it and how you did it. It's like you just walked away and it's like everything fell in your lap. It's like I had no, I had no, I have given you no significance, no nothing. You just, just walked away. You know, like I meant nothing. I, it's like I meant nothing and I'm telling you from the bottom of my heart that I am hurting. I am struggling each day without you. I'm struggling. You just walked away and made me feel like I was insignificant. That our relationship was insignificant. I I, 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 my mind is blown. My ego is, is shattered. My pride and ego is shattered. 
Have I handled the situation right? No. Have I done the right things? No. Have I talked about you? Yes. Have I gossiped about you? Yes. Have I run your name down? Yes. All because of my insecurities. Because I feel like you have everything. You have everything. You have people. You have finances. You have um, a life so much better than what I have. And all I had in my life was you. You mattered. But I need to know that I matter to you. You make me feel like I never mattered. I never meant anything the way you walked away from me. The way you just walked off and made a better life and act like I don't even exist. You act like I don't even exist. Like I'm not even, I wasn't, that I don't even matter. Nothing I did, our relationship was insignificant. All because of that. What is that? To me, yeah, I lied. I didn't tell the truth. I was dishonest. But people lie every day. And they still have people in their life. They still don't walk away from people that they truly care about, that they truly love. I, I'm not understanding. But I know you got your reasons. And I just want to say that I miss you. You're, you were very significant to me. You meant everything to me. No, I didn't tell you. No, I didn't. No, I didn't tell you the truth about how I felt. And that's on me. And that's something that I'm going to have to live with. But it still don't take it still don't take it away. It's still here. It's still here. It's still raw and I'm still I'm still here missing you, wanting you, desiring you, and hoping and wishing that things could turn around in my favor. How about it? Give me a chance. Let me show you what I can do. Let me show you how I can be. That's what they want to say. All right, water sign. That has been your reading, okay? Um, comment, hit the comments and let me know. Um, if it resonated, if it did, hit the comments. If it didn't, give me an emoji. Let me know you're rocking with your girl. Like, 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 like. If you didn't like, that's okay too. It helps the channel. So like it, like it or dislike it, okay? Share, 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 share. Subscribe Instagram, Facebook, Twitter in the description box. And I just want to say thank you so much for clicking that uh, button to watch. Thanks for watching. And I just want to say I appreciate each and every one of you. And I'm sending love and I'm sending healing your way. And Trinity is 